Hey everyone, my name is Shada Mushir Vaziri and I'm a tutor with Strategic Test Prep. Today we're going to work through this particular SAT math question that's from page 76 from the New Digital Math Workbook. So if you read this question, it says the function, so Q is defined by Q of X is equal to, and they give us this pretty complicated looking uh, equation here. We have these unknowns of A and B, and we have these absolute values, and we have a square. They've literally thrown in everything in the kitchen sink into this problem. They tell us that A and B are constants, where A is greater than B is greater than 53. And then they give us two points. They tell us Q at 539 is H, and Q at negative 521 is K. So where H and K are constants. And then they want us to evaluate and determine what the value of this expression below is. So you might think, okay, how do we get started? So we use information provided. So first off, they've given us these two points. And they've told us that the when we that when we plug in Q of 539, it's equal to H. And when we plug in Q of negative 521, it's equal to K. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is actually plug in these numbers into the Q of X that they've given us. So we'll say A, absolute value of 539 minus nine squared minus nine, absolute value of 539 minus nine plus B. And if I simplify this down, this ends up being 530 squared minus nine, 530 plus B. So that's what this one is when I plug in 539. So here I'm actually substituting in 539 for X. So I should actually write this as Q equals 539. I wanna see what they look like. So let's check out the other one as well. So I'm gonna plug in negative 521. So I actually noticed something really quickly and you might have two. Do you see these numbers right here? This guy's equal to negative 530 and this is equal to negative 530. Same thing right here. How interesting is that? So this problem, they've basically given us two points where when I plug the numbers in, I'm actually getting the exact same like value because the expressions are the same. H and K are actually equal to each other. So that means that if I look up here at this expression, that means if I did H minus K, this is zero. And if I did K minus H, that one's zero. So technically, any number to the power of zero is one. So this is really 32 plus 347 and end up with 379. So this is a pretty tricky, complicated looking problem. Really, we were able to use the information provided in the problem and just substitute it in for X and be able to solve it. I still see that there's these A's, uh, A and B. We ignored it, but if you wanted to, you can still pick numbers and plug them in and then do exactly the same thing, but you don't need to for this problem. So you kind of have two options to go at with this. Hopefully this was helpful and definitely work through the rest of the questions uh, of this workbook. Thanks so much. Good luck on the SAT.